In a big push towards make in India, in the defence sector, Defence Ministry on Thursday approved proposals worth 70,500 crore rupees for buying different weapon systems for the Indian Defence Forces. A meeting of the Defence Acquisition Council DAC, headed by Defence Minister Rajnath Singh was held on Thursday. The DAC has given approval for proposals to buy 60 made-in-India utility helicopters, maritime and BrahMos supersonic cruise missiles for Indian Navy, 307 advanced towed artillery gun systems, 8 tags, howitzers for Indian Army and 9 ALH roof choppers for Indian Coast Guard, officials said. A Defence Ministry release said that to keep pace with the emerging technologies and counter the adversaries in the Western and Northern Front, the necessity of the new weapons and its integration with the delivery platforms was felt by the government. To achieve the same objectives, the DAC accorded the approval to Indian Air Force's proposal for long-range standoff weapon LRSOW, which will be indigenously designed, developed and integrated on Su-30 MKA aircraft. The deal of buying 60 utility helicopter maritime choppers amounts to 32,000 crore rupees. The helicopters are designed to meet the warship requirements of the force. DAC accorded acceptance of necessity AON for capital acquisition amounting to over 70,500 crore rupees under by Indian IDDM, indigenously designed, developed and manufactured. According to the Ministry of Defence, out of the total proposals, Indian Navy proposals constitute more than 56,000 crore rupees, which largely includes indigenous BrahMos missiles, Shakti Electronic Warfare AW, systems and utility helicopters maritime. While this additional procurement of BrahMos missile system will enhance the maritime strike capabilities and anti-surface warfare operation, the addition of utility helicopters will multiply the operational readiness of the Indian Navy in domains such as search and rescue operations, casualty evacuation and humanitarian assistance disaster relief HADR. Similarly, Shakti Electronic Warfare Systems will equip and modernize the frontline naval ships to counter any naval operations by the adversaries. The accordance of Aeon for medium-speed marine diesel engine under the Make I category is a significant step as, for the first time, India is venturing into the development and manufacturing of such engines indigenously to achieve self-reliance and leverage the capabilities of the industries towards the goal of Atmanirbhar Bharat, said the Defence Ministry release. For artillery modernization, in addition to the ongoing Dhanush gun system and K9 Vajrati gun system, acceptance of necessity for procurement of 155mm 52 caliber advanced towed artillery gun system ATAGs, along with high mobility vehicles HMVs, and gun towing vehicles GTVs, for the Indian Army was accorded by the DAC. It also accorded acceptance of necessity for procurement of advanced light helicopters ALH MK3 from Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL for the Indian Coast Guard. The helicopter will be able to carry a suite of surveillance sensors which will enhance the surveillance capabilities. It will also give full night capability and instrument flight rules IFR capability for the operations of the Indian Coast Guard. Including today's proposals, the total acceptance of necessity granted for capital acquisition in the financial year 2022-23 is over 2.71 lakh rupees crore, out of which 99% of the procurement will be sourced from Indian industries. Such a quantum of indigenous procurement will galvanize the Indian industries towards achieving the goal of Atmanirbhar Bharat, the release said. The Navy has more than 150 warships in its fleet and wants them to be equipped with at least one helicopter each and is looking at procuring them through the Make in India route first. The Indian Navy warships are deployed all along the Indian Ocean region and warships are provided with helicopters for reconnaissance and surveillance along with other operations required by the fleet to be carried out. Further, ATAG's howitzers will be procured for deployment along the borders with China and Pakistan. The ALH choppers are operated by all three defence forces including the Army, Navy and Air Force along with the Indian Coast Guard. The ALH Dhruv has become one of the important parts of helicopter missions undertaken by all three forces. In January this year, DAC cleared three capital acquisition proposals amounting to 4,276 crore rupees for buying indigenous Helena anti-tank missiles and air defence systems to be developed for taking down enemy aircraft.
In December last year, the DAC accorded the approval for acceptance of Necessity A on for 24 capital acquisition proposals. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe.